Okay, let me. Start. I don't know how to decide it. Yeah, yeah, let me start. So angle is just like you can say if you have two line segments. Let's say one is this red one, and one is this blue one. Yes or no? So you can say the space between these two pair of line segments. Yes or no? Is known as what? Is known as an angle. Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. So you can see the gap between two line segments. is diff is known as what is known as a angle or if someone ask you when an angle will be created so you will say when two line segment will cross each other okay and you will they will be framing you an angle and the point this point is known as what we call it as a vertex okay get it yeah and these are known as what these are known as the you can say the arms get it any confusion out there and then like you will talk no. about how you will measure it so you measure it in degrees okay so now if we talk about like it can be anything in degrees yes or no from zero to how much zero to the range of the angles lies from where to where zero to 360 degrees yeah yeah so if we divide like they have already divided this whole range into parts so if we talk about like a specific one Let's say we are talking about acute angles. So what do you will say? What are acute angles for us? Less than 90 degrees. Perfect. So like if I give a heading up there, so if we are defining acute ones first, so you will say acute are those who lie between zero to 90. Yes or no? And they will look like how? They will look like this. Smaller than the L, okay? Like L will be the perfect shape. And if you are having a smaller than L, then you're going to call it what? Then you're going to call it as a acute angle. Get it? Yeah. Okay, then the next one is what? Next one will be what? Um, right angle. Right angle. Perfect. You know about it. So what is right angle? When the angle will be perfectly 90 and it will look like what? It will yeah. look like a L shape. Yes? Yeah, and then a square is marked. Yeah. And then what about the next one? Yeah. Obtuse. obtuse. So, what is an obtuse one? Um, bigger than ninety, less than one hundred and eighty. So, ninety to one hundred and eighty, it lie. Yeah. And how it will look? So, you will say like we will move the L towards. You can say the left side. Yes or no? Yeah. So, you will open it up a little bit, and it will be the you can say obtuse angle. Then after this, what the Straight other one? Straight line. Straight angle. Yeah. So straight angle is the exact 181 and it will be look like this. Yes or no? Yeah. The two line segments again meeting each other, but they are just framing a straight line. Get it? Okay, reflex after this, angle. Perfect. You already know about it. What is an reflex? Um, Bigger than 180 and less than 360. Perfect. So 180 to 360 they lie and how they will look like just opposite to the you can say obtuse one or uh, sorry just opposite to acute one you can call them. Yes or no? Like let's say this is the yeah. acute one. So the outside portion of the acute ones are like known as what? They are the reflex angles. Yes or no? And then full circle or whole turn. We call it as a complete angle yeah so next one is the complete so complete is like when the two line will be exactly over each other get it so this is like uh, you can call it as a complete one okay that is making a complete circle out there any confusion yeah. yes or no no sometimes what they do they ask you about like uh, you can say the reflex angle and the acute angle what the relation they have or this internal angle and the external angle what relation they have or if i yeah, minus. They, they will add up to what they will add up to 360 that's one thing you need to remember get it so if an yeah. acute angle is given to you and you need to find out reflex angle so you can say the acute 360 minus acute plus reflex will add up to what will always add up to a 360 degree Okay, only for what situation? Only for one 
angle okay not like for the two different angles mm -hmm. so if you have this one let's say this one is 70 degree so the outer one we can easily calculate just by subtracting the 70 from 360 so it will come out to be how much 310 get it yeah okay so this is like the next relation we have any confusion till now like you already know about these things i know yep um yeah okay good so if we continue next one so next one like maybe you have heard about them or not so these are the complementary and supplementary angles you know about them no have you heard them no no okay so if we talk about complementary maybe there's another name no there is no another name i haven't heard any other name for them but maybe like and no okay so complementary is like those angles if you have two angles and they will add up to 90 degree okay you will call them what you will call them the complementary pair of angles get it so for example like if yeah. i if i have uh, let's say this one as a 30 degree or let's say this one is 60 and degree then... and there is a smaller one it is 30 degree get it so i will call them what i will both call them complementary they both are complementing each other or they are complementary angles. Got it? So how we will define complementary angles? The pair of Two angles. Two angles that add up to yep. 90. The pair degrees. of angles which add up to 90 degree. We call them complementary angles. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, then comes the supplementary. This word like comes many a time. If you have done geometry as well, they like the parallelogram ones and those shapes. They like they uses this word supplementary most of the time. No, I've never seen it. Okay, okay, maybe like. Okay, let's see. So supplementary are again like two angles which will add up to what? Which will add up to one eighty degree now. Get it? So you can say the pair oh. of angles which will add up to 180 degree we call them what we call them the supplementary angles any confusion so how the question will come on these so like let's say one angle is 110 and i'm asking what will be its supplementary angle what you will say 70 70 so these kind of like uh, just one mark question can be there okay and there are few more questions they can make complicated we will discuss them later on okay now the thing is like sometimes what happens student forgot about which one is complementary which one is supplementary like they get confused so how you can memorize it so like complementary starting with c yes or no supplementary starting with s so if we talk about their alphabetical order, which one Wait, will come I'm... first? Which one come first? C. C comes first and out of 90 and 180, which come first? In numeral Nine. order, 90 comes first. So that's how you can remember. C stands for 90 and S stands for what? 180. I hope it will help you. Yeah. Yep. This is like just the way I memorized it. Okay. So sometimes like it get confusing. But just up to you, like if you're good in memorizing something, then it is, uh, there is no need to worry. Is it clear? Yeah. Let's continue next then. Okay, next comes, like there is a term known as adjacent angles. I hope you have heard about it. Yeah. What are those? I think it's angles next to each other. Perfect. Angles next to each other are known as the adjacent angles. Okay. Now, there is a situation for adjacent angle. Like there are conditions for adjacent angles that need to be satisfied. Okay. Then you will call those angles as adjacent angles. For example, like if I show you a diagram and if I ask you, these pair of angles and if you have to compare these pair of angles so which one are adjacent for you what do you will say the um, a the one or the b one. one the first one a. and 
the B one or not? B one has another angle after the first one. Okay, and if I make one more shape, let's say, uh, on this part, or like let's say, let's move it a bit down. So over here, if I am making a one more shape for you, so let's say it is looking like this again, like the copy of the first one, but this time the angle marking will change. What do you will say? They are adjacent or not? I mean, you could minus the big, the small angle from the big angle, and then you could find its adjacent angle. You can find it, but if they are just giving you this marking and they are asking no. you, they are adjacent no. or not? Okay. So, what are the rules that are like that are helping you in deciding they are adjacent or not? Is there any specific rule that you are talking about or thinking about? They must not overlap, and the okay, and I'm they telling, must be yeah. from the line Perfect. in the middle. Okay, there are three rules basically that we need to keep in our mind if we have to decide they are adjacent or not. Okay, get it? So, what are those three yeah. rules? First thing is they need to have a common vertex. Okay, I just told you up there what is the vertex where the two line segments are meeting yeah. each other. Yes or no? So for this A part, yes, they have the common vertex. For the B part, they do not have the common vertex. Yes or no? So that's why we thought the B is not the adjacent ones. Okay, get it? But A was the adjacent one and C can be the adjacent one. It is fulfilling the first condition. Get it or not? Yeah. Okay, if we talk about the second condition, they need to have a common arm. What need to be there? A common arm need to be there. Means like if you talk about the two adjacent rooms, so what is common or two like adjacent word stands for the neighbor. Okay, getting it. So if you talk about the two yeah. neighbors, who are neighbors in our society? Like which share like the two houses which share a wall? Yeah, sharing a wall in between. You can say yes or no. They will be just your neighbors. So that's how like over here we are talking about angles as well. So you will say like if they have a common arm, then you can say they are the adjacent ones get it so like yeah. which condition is not satisfied by the c1 is it having a common arm what you will say no yes it is having you're not looking at it carefully the bottom line bottom line segment is common for it, both of them it, it oh oh yes or no yeah okay now then which is the one which is not there so the third thing no common area you can call okay no common portion get it so do they have a common portion you will say yes the smaller angle is coming inside the bigger one so yes so how they can be the neighbors yes or no it is just like a scenario we yeah. have a big house and we are just talking about a small room in it and we are saying like these both are neighbors so they are not neighbors okay that is the part of it get it yeah yeah any confusion on it no no so adjacent angles are clear so angles yeah. which are next to each other are adjacent ones and these three conditions need to be there okay yeah okay then comes like there is a special angle that we will talk about and then like we can end it up okay if you can say like i think i need to move to the next one Okay, so next thing is what the linear pair angles. I think you have heard about them. Have you heard the name before? I don't know the name. You don't know the name? The names name. are important. I'm not... Like in geometry, the names are important. If you don't remember the names, like it will become a little bit complicated if I you go. I remember. I was never taught it. Okay, okay, okay. So linear pair are those angles like let's say I have this situation. So first of all, if I ask you, are these adjacent angles? Yeah. These are adjacent angles. They are linear pair. Uh, sorry, they are supplementary as well. Yeah. Yes. So supplementary means they are adding up to what? 180. 180. So this specific type where the angles will be adjacent 
as well as what as well as the supplementary you will call that pair of angles as a linear pair okay they are making linear stands for a straight line yes or no so two angles combiningly making what making a straight line then we call it what we call it as a linear pair i hope you get it so i can say yeah. this angle a and b are making 180 and they are also what so you can say they are supplementary yes or no yeah and a and b are also what adjacent get it so if the two pair of angles are what or the pair of angles are adjacent and supplementary adjacent as well as supplementary then you call them what then you call them the linear pair any confusion out there no. yes or no so that is like all about the basics of the angles you can say there are few more things okay there are few more type of angles that we need to discuss but it is like the basic thing that you need to know firstly we will talk about questions on it okay and then we will move to the next part so i think that's yeah. enough for today yeah yeah okay then that's all for today bye